All right, so I am 40 days living on my schoolie and I love it. I am so free right now. It's exciting, it's challenging. I have become a total minimalist. All that stuff that I had in my apartment is uh, pretty much gone. I have a 10 by 10 storage unit that I've saved some things that are irreplaceable and valuable and sentimental that I wasn't ready to get rid of, but I might go back there actually and, um, you know, go through it again, get a smaller storage space because ideally I don't want to have a storage space at all. I just want to be, you know, all compact and in one place. I don't like being spread out all over the place. Here I am washing my dishes. Um, it's not my favorite thing to wash my dishes in cold water, but it works. I have a double sink, as uh, some of the pictures from my Instagram have shown. And uh, it's perfect because I have one side for the soapy wash water and the other side for the clean rinse water. And when the clean rinse water gets a little mur murky, I pour it into the soapy water because the basin's a lot bigger. Then um, I add clean water to the smaller rinse water. I'm going through the silverware right now. Um, I've learned a few things since I've been on the schoolie. And right now, my biggest challenge is parking. Obviously, in the city, it's not really set up for school bus apartments on wheels and uh, I've gotten a few tickets oh, unfortunately and I'm probably gonna have to go fight them because I'm not really a bus I'm registered as a bus at the moment until um, I can get it weighed and re-registered as a private vehicle I don't know if I want to register as an RV just yet. There's certain qualifications it needs, but it is a non-commercial vehicle and I keep getting ticketed as a commercial vehicle. So that's something that needs to be clarified and resolved. Um, I don't have plumbing yet, but I've been using those large, I believe they're five gallon water containers from uh, Home Depot and um, Lowe's and the one I have I got a pump for it so I manually pump the water into these basins and I uh, bring back the empties when I've used them all up and I get a refill for six six bucks or whatever it is um, the other day I actually went to a garage a gas station and you know I just struck up a conversation with the attendant and he let me fill the empties, the two empties that I have for free. It's just really nice. And now I have a bunch of water. But the other day, actually, I was uh, parked in Brooklyn near Gowanus and it was raining like crazy. And I was looking out my window and I saw streams of water coming off the little uh, gutter system that is built into the buses streams of water like pouring like a faucet and I was desperate to catch some of it so I rigged up some kind of little um, funnel filter tubing on on the spot and it didn't actually I collected a little bit but it wasn't really stable so I had to hold it and fell out the window the container fell out the window. I went out in the rain and I got it. And um, it's it's inspiring though to know that so much water comes off of my roof every time it rains. And I just need to get some proper tubing and filter it into a container inside the vehicle on both sides. One for the bath side and one for the um, we have the bunks built, the um, back bedroom queen size bed area built with under 
underbed storage. And uh, when we're a little farther along, I'll probably cut the mattress in half and, and fold it on either side to make a couch area, or like a sitting room, living room area for when I have guests. Um, right now, since I'm living in it myself full time, I mean, I have my partner who's Benjamin. He comes over and watches my vehicle when I am at work. A couple times a week, I watch this girl, little girl. And um, when I'm not here and I have my cats here, I really don't want to leave it alone. I mean, it would be awful if it got towed, but having it towed with my, my my pets in here is not a good idea. Not that it will get towed, but it's just one of those things you get worried about because your house is not stationary and it has wheels. And if anything, you know, my parking tickets might catch up with me. I haven't paid them yet and I should. Um, that's worrying. That's worrying. So having somebody in the vehicle at least who can warn me or have, you know, a way to talk to the people who are doing the towing, I don't know. I mean, I definitely have to deal with those tickets one way or another. Um, yeah, so that's, that's my, I went, went over a list of things that bothered me about living in the vehicle and that was it, basically, is not having a steady place to park and getting parking tickets. And that's mainly because my registration is, is wrong. I'm not really supposed to be registered as a bus, but that's the only thing they would do for me when I first got the vehicle. I was registered as a bus because technically it was a bus. I still had the seats in. Now it's far from a bus. It is a tiny home on wheels. So I have to look into what kind of registration I can get. Dishes are done almost. I have to clean the popcorn pan and the soup pan. But it's super exciting. I'm gonna take you around the bus before I start in these dishes. Okay, come. So this is top bunk. My roofie is here, Rufus. He's the resident alpha cat. And he loves me. Mwah. Um, treats for my son because he's a teenager and they don't always do Halloween so his friends were kind of not into it this year. Oh, don't run away. This is Stewie. Oh, Stewie. He's a scaredy cat. This is Dora. She's the opposite of a scaredy cat. She loves people. Loves people. So I'm in my bedroom. What I've done here is well, I got a little space heater up there because I still haven't hooked up the solar to any kind of like major battery bank. Um, I put curtains up around for privacy, but they don't insulate at all. Uh, so that's the next step is to get some, get a nice quilt or not so nice quilt um, that I can cut up and uh, put around all the windows for insulation. Um, so that's, that's the back of the bus. This is my buddy Dora. She's a good girl. She loves people. Little Miss Ambassador. The Ambassador Kitty. She greets everybody who comes on the bus. And this is Rufus. Hello. <laughs> um, my commode has got sort of walls so like people really can't see unless they're sitting directly in front of you if you're using it um, I've just been keeping it clean and empty um, haven't really gotten the composting thing down yet but uh, I empty it out pretty much every day um, and it's contained the kitty litter is down below and so it's all in one place on the bus there's no scattered feces around the bus <laughs> um, like kitty litter boxes tend to like just be everywhere. I want to keep it in one place. So this is the dining area. Just have my morning coffee. And this is the kitchen area. I've been washing dishes. This is my system. Got a big soapy water container and then a clean water rinse. 
And then I put all the dishes over here. This is where my silverware goes in kind of a basket. And um, it's been 10 minutes. I don't think people want to watch longer than 10 minutes. So <sighs> this, is, this is my home. So, so happy to finally be free of the whole system of rent and all that. And I have been inspired by so many people's videos and uh, ways of doing this that um, I believe it's possible to actually do it very close to 100% off the grid, although I still will need diesel. And um, once I buy all this stuff that I need, like batteries and all that, I can harvest the sun, harvest rainwater, get my tubing set up. Um, I don't like taking cold showers, so I'm gonna eventually have to do some kind of um, heating system, but I can heat up uh, pots of water on the stove to do my um, baths and showers. I don't have a bath yet, so what I'm doing is taking advantage of my Planet Fitness membership, and it's uh, very useful <laughs> for more reasons than one, um, showers being the main one, but I do like their Hydra bed, I do like their pink light machine, whatever that's called, and uh, of course I have the option of working out, which I don't. I should. I really should. I'm 53 years old and I should, I should work out. That would be a good choice to make at this point in my life. Anyway, so later, more later, <sighs> enjoy. Oh yeah, this is my closet for now. Right over the uh, side door emergency exit very handy like little hangy thing. Don't really plan on keeping it that way because this is where the bath is supposed to go. <sighs> uh, but I will have a shower. So there it is. Tiny home on wheels. Talk to you later.